Hello there guys and welcome to another video. So today guys we are off to Dorchester to see what exciting sights and sounds Dorchester has to offer and uh, I suspect, given Dorchester's reputation, that it's going to be very exciting indeed. Hi mate. Hi. So here we are at Branksome Railway Station preparing to head to Dorchester. Branksome Railway Station of course, the birthplace of Sir Richard Branston and uh, the place where pickle was invented. Hmm? Well we have our tickets, off peak day return valid for one journey from Branksham to Dorchester South. Total price, £12.90 per person. Which is quite expensive for going to Dorchester South, don't you think? It How far would you expect to be able to go for £12.90? Further. Further. <laughs> Well, here we are in Dorchester. There was a beta kid on the train who was completely incapable of moderating his amplitude. Probably similar to how it is for everybody else when Dr. Moss is on a train. Well, we go and explore Dorchester? Well, the first thing I note is that there is no longer a yard full of barrels next to the brewery here, which there was last time I came here. There is instead brewery square brewery square which appears to be some sort of new development probably not new, it's probably been here 10 years but it's new to me little door, little door it's a little door well this is all new this could not have been here before there was an Eldridge Pope brewery how's your costa mate? sweet how sweet would you say? sweet as bone sweet as bone swimsuits in the fountain ok Naked, not okay. Playing and laughing, okay. Screaming and shouting, not okay. Quiet cue. Behind me is Dorchester's mainest commercial street. Your first stop for Dorchester retail. And my goodness, is it bustling and full of shops and amenities. Now behind me we have the Gorge Cafe. I've probably not been in there for about 30 years, but I have very fond memories of it as a child. The uh, ceiling used to have a somewhat cave-like, somewhat cavernous design. I think it was red. It was very, very small and dingy in there, but I have very fond memories of it. I don't really remember the food. I assume the food was terrible and probably still is. Do you think it looks terrible? I think it looks pretty terrible. I think it looks pretty terrible. No doubt it has some rather shoddy reviews, but my memories are nothing but fond. Army surplus. Yeah, I think Dr. Moss buys all of his wares. Mate, Can could you introduce us to the ducks available in this store? As you can see, we have everything from pork ducks to... Superman duck to princess duck and chef duck. It's a lot of ducks. For duck's sake. Have you ever wondered how many bricks it takes to build a Dorchester? If you have any thoughts on that, why don't you comment below and let me know. And I'll tell you if you're correct. I've counted them all. Ali's Attic. Vintage, retro and modem. So mate, when I used to come to Dorchester with my parents back of yesteryear, we used to park in one of these car parks around here and then walk up and go to the waitrose down there. It was, it was great. Good, t good times, yeah, good times everyone. Pay close attention to this chart. You wouldn't want to make any mistakes, would you? Thomas. Jewels. 
Smoker. Bally. It's all names you know. It's all names you trust. Slap in the face for eating Bart Mace. Fry's Orange Cream. They seem to stock it almost nowhere. It is like a rocking horse ship. And without a shadow of a doubt, one of my favourite items of confectionery. So now you know that. Azahi Beer. The beer for all seasons. Super dry. Waitrose are phasing out black plastic. And in fact, Dorchester seems to have phased out black everything. If you know what I mean. Tom and Linda Blundell. Blundell's shoes. Blundell! Do you know what's notable about Humphreys Kirk here in Dorchester? Well, it's the fact that it's the office of the Under Sheriff of Dorset. How very prestigious. Now, I don't want to say anything that might cast Dorchester in a less than extremely exciting light, but it does seem that Dorchester is rather a one-street town. Having got to the end of the most exciting retail area of Dorchester, uh, there doesn't really seem to be much else to it, but um, that's okay. Well, I feel like I've seen all there is to see of Dorchester and its great ethnic and cultural diversity, so perhaps it's now time to head back to Bournemouth. Well guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. And as always guys, please do feel free to comment below. I'm especially interested to know what you thought of Dorchester and its varied and diverse populace. That is all we've got time for for now. I do look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, but for now at least guys, there's very little more to be free to say except goodbye. <laughs>